Okay, now here's uh, just kind of some animation tests going on here. I have just a pseudo twister stubbed into here that might play or not, just to kind of give an idea. But a lot of this is all about lighting and performance again, just to kind of give you a, a feel, kind of helps me along the way. But like I said, I have many more models, and if, if I had a close-up, maybe I'll take close-up views on some of the snapshots so you can see how much more details in all of these vehicles. Like, you know, all these vehicles have nice nice seats and things like that. These are these particular vehicles, some of these are for uh, storm chase tours, just like in the real world, right? You'll have, and there'll be storm chase car lots, and they'll have, there's all kinds of things that just parallel the real world for storm chasing. And um, so to give you really a sense, oh, we have boats in the scene, you know, the backhoes and tractors and bikes and oil things, all those kind of things that, you know, make you feel like you're out on the high plains chasing a storm like that and then I'll put power lines in on this traffic light as well you know these old style traffic lights work great they give you a lot more effect than the modern ones that kind of just swing out over the center of the intersection and still working on a few things I mean but little details like this I need to add a corner or a gutter or a drain or something in that and I'll smooth that out but you can see that there's a lot more anti-aliasing in here and the scene really starts coming to life and then when I at the end I'll add of course much nicer clouds because it's really all about smoothing all these out and uh, and this isn't even in the pro version of unity this is just in the basic version of unity not using any kind of real dynamic lighting or anything like that to help the performance so okay well that's another example kind of give you an idea where things are heading all right see you in the next video